the latest incarnation of the Subaru Outback. It's packed with new technology and it's the perfect car for taking way up and out into the highlands. The unique selling point of this car is the sheer range of its abilities. It's got all-wheel drive and Exmo for tackling some serious off-road terrain. As well as all the tools and comfort you want for cruising down the motorways. Part of the beauty of a stunning setting like this is that you're nicely cut off from the rest of the world. Except the Outback has access to all areas and the wading depth is twice as high as any other car. Now, this is the sort of place that would leave most so-called 4x4s, certainly SUVs, stranded. Classic Scotland. Now, for most cars, this is the end of the road, but not for this baby, because we're going up that mountain. So this is where the X mode really comes into its own. And hardly using any throttle, so I'm totally reliant here on the X mode to deliver power to the wheels that have got the grip. So as I hit these polished, slippery stones, these loose stones that are just sort of falling underneath the car, the traction control is leaning on the tires that have got the grip and cutting power away from the ones that start to slip a little bit much faster than I could do with my foot. It's also sending more power to the rear wheels, really making the most of that all-wheel drive system rather than putting the power through the front tires and watching them spin. And we're through into an amazing part of Scotland that you would hardly ever get to see unless you've got a beastie like this that can roam the hills. Once the X mode is engaged, hill descent comes automatically. So you simply drive to the slope, take your foot off the pedals, and the car controls your speed all the way down the hill until you reapply the brakes or the accelerator. Part of the charm of the Outback is that it's understated. But once you experience the capability, you fall in love with it. 